today. If you don't know, now you know and since you know, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and we're going to go ahead and jump into this video. This is going to be a nice spring, summer, glam, an everyday look, a nice glowy goddess, whatever you would like to call it. So if you guys like to know how I got this look that will last you through your summer day or your spring day, then keep watching. So... As you guys can see, I'm starting off with my eyebrows already filled in, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the skin portion. So, for my primer, I'm going to be using, as usual, <laughs> the Black Opal Invisible Oil Blocking Primer and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I really like this primer for the warmer months because it's oil blocking and I have oily skin sometimes. Like right now, my skin is more on the oily side so I want to block some of these oils from coming through it's mostly just my t-zone though on top of that I'm gonna add the Smashbox okay so this is a trick that I actually learned from watching Jackie Ina she likes to take a loose setting powder before applying her foundation and I find that this helps to keep my oils in control and it kind of makes my makeup last a little longer. So for the powder, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in 30 medium deep. And I'm going to take a wet sponge and apply some of this powder to my T-zone areas. This just keeps the oils from seeping through your makeup faster because I have to go through the powder first. So. It's like an extra barrier so I know that I look a little crazy but it's all gonna come together so next after adding all of that powder to my face I'm gonna move on to my foundation and for my foundation I'm gonna be using the black opal true color and I am in the shade hazelnut and I'm not gonna use a lot just because of course it's the hotter months and you don't want to feel like you have a lot of product on your face so I start with a little bit and I just build from there I need more I'll add more but start with a small amount To highlight, I'm going to use the NYX HD Concealer and Nutmeg. You don't want to do a heavy application just because of the fact that the heavier your makeup is, the more likely you are to sweat. At least it's how it is for me. So I like to just go in lightly. And I also color correct around my mouth. And I like to let the concealer sit on my under eye just for a little while so that it can get a little more coverage there. So I just basically blend that last. So after highlighting is contouring, and for contour, I'm going to use the NYX HD Concealer in Cappuccino. And this just gives me a nice, subtle highlight because this color is so close to my skin. And that's exactly what I want. So after contouring, I like to go back in and spruce up my highlighted areas and set those. So I'm just going to go back in and make sure that there is no creasing. And 
and I'm not baking I'm just simply pressing the powder in So once I have all of that nice and set, I'm going to also set my contour areas. And to set my contour areas, I'm going to use the e.l.f. bronzer palette in Bronze Beauty. And I'm just going to use this bottom shade here. Next, I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Press Powder in the color Dark to actually go over my whole face just to bring everything together and make sure that everything is nice and seamless. And it also sharpens up my contour a little. I'm also going to throw some of this on my lids just to take away so much of the greasy look and so that when I apply my eyeshadow it'll just glide smoothly on. The blush for blush I'm going to be using the blush neutrals palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to be using these two. These are my two favorite blushes to use from this palette just because they're super subtle and they don't make you look like you're doing the most and that's what I like in a blush. And I like to add some to the bridge and tip of my nose. I feel like it just gives me a little more color. Make me look alive. <laughs> so next, I'm going to do something super simple to my eyes. When I do an everyday look like this or a nice glowy look, I like to use simple colors. So I'm going to be using the Morphe 9C palette. And I'm going to just choose a color from here. This is a really nice palette for spring and summer just the colors in here are like bomb and you have the nice colors for glow and everything so yeah pick up this palette the color that i'm going to use today from this palette is chocolate diamond this nice brown here and i'm going to concentrate this more so in my crease and blend it up to my transition area and the thing that i love about this look is that your eyeshadow does not have to be perfect you don't have to worry too much about blending because you're just using one color. So it's like it's just a breeze. So next I'm going to set my face and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. And when you're setting your face, you want to hold the setting spray back and not too close. If you put it too close, you're just going to melt all your makeup off. So give it just a couple of inches to like a foot or two. <laughs> it really just do your thing. So after you have set your face, I like to go ahead and move in with my highlighter. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced Prismatic Highlighter and You Light Up My Life. It's a really pretty gold. It looks really good on us melanin chicks. So get into it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and add some under my brow to start. And it is just super glowy, you guys. Like, I'm going to go ahead and throw some on the bridge of my nose. And this really helps to snatch everything together. So I applied lashes off camera and now I'm going to add a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. This is the pretty vulgar, what's the name of it? For Reals Mascara. So the last step is lips and for lips for the spring and summer I like to keep it super simple and glossy so I'm going to add a gloss to my lips. For color I'm going to add the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. This is not the first time that I use this on my channel. Actually this is the first time that I use a lot of these products on my channel. And to make my lips even more glossy because I like a super glossy lip I'm going to use this Roll tip oil lip gloss from Broadway. Super affordable, you guys. This is the final 
look a nice glowy simple everyday spring and summer look i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope i helped you guys gave you some nice tips gave you a go-to look and if you did enjoy it please be sure to give this a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video Take it out. Take it out.